Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we're gonna to be testing out these Liberty safes. Oh shoot, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we have a very, very special video for you planned. So right here before us we have 10 Liberty safes. This is the Lincoln. These are all sent to us from our friends Liberty. And we're out here at Drive Tanks at the Ox Ranch to make this happen. Before we shot a Liberty safe, with a tank, a Sherman tank, and we wanted to see if the tank round would go through it. It did, it went straight through it. So now we're like, well, how many safes would it take to stop a tank round? And so we came out here again to find out. So I could show you these things, they're, they're really nice safes. We actually dinged them up a little bit, just getting them out here, because we used a forklift and it wasn't the best way to move the safes without scratching them, but they're all still working safes. You can see they are really, really nice inside. They have lights and dehumidifiers. Very nice gun safes. And we are going to see today what will happen if we fire a Sherman round straight through them. That's a Sherman tank, 1944. We are going to back it up now. We're gonna take it around and we're going to load her up and fire her. Look at the 50 cal shells all over the back. Big old 50 cal up on top of the Sherman. How many do you think it will go through? I am betting, and I've never done this before, so I'm, I'm totally guessing like you are. I'm betting it goes through six and does not hit the seventh. What do you think? Comment below, put your money where your mouth is, comment below, and let's see how many this Sherman will go through before it stops or veers out. We have a GoPro there. I have my old GoPro on the roof of that. Might actually get killed, we'll find out. I got a GoPro back there. Uh, poor little minivans. Wonder what they did to those. it has been a bad transmission or something, and that's why they left them there. I'm sure they didn't shoot them. Uh, okay, I'm nervous. All right, they're lining up the Sherman. We're gonna back up. You can see we have this epic range here. This is crazy, like 50 foot backstop back there, and there's a mountain behind that. So we should be good to go. I am a little worried about the round just deflecting out one of the sides. Uh, very likely to happen because we're hitting metal with it. And these things are gun safes, so they are pretty strong. So I could see that after a few safes, it starts tumbling and it just squirts out one of the sides. Time will tell and we'll have some footage of it. So, <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's flip and do it, you know what I mean? Okay, we are currently sitting in a Sherman tank Looking down the scope, and we are sighted in, ready to fire at our safe. Uh, very tight in here. We're actually not gonna be firing from in here, just in case there's a failure, it will all explode everything in here. So we're gonna be outside the tank, pulling the rip cord that will pull the trigger in here. Firing downrange at our safes. So I think we're lined up, I think we're good to go. It's time to load this thing and let her fly. 76 millimeter solid steel round, right? Yep, about 17 or 15, 17 pounds, 17 pounds somewhere in there. It's a 17 pound projectile, no big deal. Okay, so we have this cable here going to our trigger and we are ready to fire. Everyone is good. Firing, three, two, one. We smacked it. <laughs> Let's go. So each one of those safes weighs, I don't know, probably like a thousand pounds. Super hard. We spent probably two hours before I even started filming just moving them all out here and in position. And I was sweaty as soon as we started this video because we had been working for two hours. You can see that tank round tossed the first two around pretty good. 
and they're very very heavy and it just chunked them this is our first save you can see we hit high and it just totally started bulging out the top uh it'd be interesting to see what this actually looks like this is our second one so it's already coming in probably sideways now on the second one exploded everything this is very thick steel here and you can see that it just totally ripped it like that is not along a seam there at all it was just peeling it back oh, God. and it i mean it's <laughs> it's done uh so it went through that one and then it hit the corner of the third one here and then went out the side. So I think we need to hit it one more time. We're gonna set these back up, just these eight. We're gonna leave these two busted ones out. Set these eight up and load it another round. We rolled over that first one. That's the back, just same thing. Just peeled that metal out of the way. Uh, so we got these eight lined up now. I'm sort of wanting to change my bet. I, After seeing it bust through, I don't know. It definitely went through sideways in the second one which means it's gonna lose energy way faster, which means it probably won't go through six. We'll see though, I'm sticking to it. And all this white powder, <laughs> it's not what you think. Uh, I'm holding it for a friend. No, it's all the insulation inside the walls, so they, they do this to make it fireproof, so they have a bunch of insulation, and it just busts that thing, throws powder everywhere. Round two, firing! One, two, three! We have more safes everywhere. Ooh, that looks like a good hit too. Okay, this was our number one right here. Uh, went straight in and straight out here. And then this is our number two, so it obviously didn't go straight out because it hitting all this metal was already tumbling. That round went sideways through this one, all the way through. And then it's rotating more, it's turned down this way. So this thing is just tumbling by this point. This is number three. Rotating a little further, number four. Looks like it's completely the opposite direction here on number five. And it came out number five and smacked into door number six right here, dented it very badly and bounced down on the ground right here. Not too hot, not too hot. This is it. So we went like that, dropped down in between there. Uh, I wanna see if I can open up some of these doors and see what the damage is inside. I also wanna flip this thing over and look at the front of it. We're gonna see if we can open this front door. We may have, I bet you just pinched some of those bars in there. Yeah. That's the first one, right there. Let's see if the computer still works. <laughs> uh, it pinched some of those bars in there. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's gonna open. No. no, no, it's just spinning. Yeah, we've messed them up. Dang it, how am I gonna put all my guns in these? That one might be. Keypads are good. We just went through the door and broke all the bars that are in the door. They're all broken. Maybe? Nope. nope. That one definitely is gonna work. <laughs> we stood them all up. This one, for some reason, it's really heavy though. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on in here. I can't open it like <laughs> Here, just grab hand. No, I thought it was all the way open. No, nope. don't lock it. No, no, it, that's just spinning. Pull it. Ugh. Oh, Freddy, how'd you get in there? You crazy old guy. We actually just put him in there because we wanted to see if he would get smacked on the end. But safe and sound and Liberty safe. So I was close. I said, uh, what I say? I was going to stop on the seventh. No, I said it wouldn't touch the seventh. It ended up touching the sixth and not the seventh. That, no, it was the fifth and not the sixth. I was close, but same secure but didn't didn't get it Ugh, maybe next time you know what i was thinking they have a gun here that shoots a projectile that's twice as big as this one it's it's 156 millimeter i think crazy so 
maybe if this video gets a ton of views and a lot of likes, we'll come back out here to drive tanks at the Ox Ranch and we'll get Liberty to send us maybe 20 of these big old Liberty safes and we'll do it again. So hit that like button below. Oh, I can't believe he was sneaking around here. You know what? You're in trouble, buddy. You're staying in the hole for 24 more hours. I don't teach him. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we're going to test out these Liberty safes. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we're going to be testing out these Liberty safes. Watch out. <laughs>